Well, it's something that we don't really talk about a lot, but fungi, fungi, fungi are something we rarely view as a threat to our society or our community, but it's something that is all around us here in Tennessee. As the weather gets warmer and wetter, the, our Huey Barris is talking and taking a look at how those mushrooms can affect our backyards. A zombie fungus that can control ants. It sounds like something you would only see in a movie, but it can actually be found right here in East Tennessee. The way it controls these insects can be disturbing. They cause different behaviors depending on the species. They'll cause them to like climb up a tree branch and bite into the wood, and then they'll die like that, and then the fungus will come out of the back of their head and produce spores. It's called cordyceps, and while it may look small, it's the subject of a line of mycology research at the University of Tennessee. It is only a threat to ants, but concerns are arising in the wake of a new zombie show, The Last of Us, which was inspired by this nightmare fungus. Could this ever become a problem for humans? Humans and other vertebrates are fairly different. I mean, we have, like, active immunity um, in our immune systems and then very different uh, nervous and circulatory systems. And also we're way bigger. I mean, it's going to be a lot easier for fungus to kill something this big than our size. In short, cordyceps is not a threat to humans, but as the weather gets warmer and wetter, other fungi could eventually put crops in danger. I think it's going to be more of a problem for like crops and other plants like, you know, something like Dutch elm disease or chestnut blight that comes and kills a bunch of trees and can spread better because of the warmer climates. I think that's going to be a big problem. It's also best to prepare for the more common threats, like these small brown mushrooms that could make your dog or kids sick if eaten, among other backyard threats. It's easy to forget about the dangers sitting just below your feet. In Knoxville, Huey Barris, WVLT News. Now, the good news is local fungi aren't all bad. The experts say morel season starts next month, where you can find fan-favorite mushrooms to use in your cooking right here in East Tennessee.